called film Little Pieces of Time. Everybody just I'm so sick is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelma and Louise, you're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Ew! Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. How did Sherlock Holmes deduce anything Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. 
if she does. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be t glad to meet. Hmm. I sure. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for- Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. Hey, Bunny. Kate will be back soon, and- Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. I'm so freaking tired. I sound like a moron. But crime doesn't... No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Where the hell are you, Rachel Amber? I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. I feel like you're guiding us along. But where? Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Where did she go? My lips are like sealed.
X? I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. I bet she'll party like it's 1999. Assholes. for a minute. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. I was lucky. That's all. No, girl. That was not luck. You made a choice to save her. Like a superhero. Then maybe it's time to catch the bad guys. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. And I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's going to wish she didn't. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I feel so... giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. 
But I feel kind of invincible now. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. The most magical insects burn bright. I'm toast if he sees me. Stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. Uh, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. Maybe save Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Go on back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Sit in my attitude. I'm sitting. I'm sitting on this. My ass down. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Oh, 
Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Nothing here. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. I know, I have a set of keys on- Max the ninja strikes again. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. <sighs> Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Of course. They're both sociopaths. More like psychopaths. The Blackwell security officer even hits his own stepdaughter. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully, the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. 
I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That'd be... Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Said Max, the art critic. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Tape is mine. Only one more ingredient left. I feel like you're guiding us along. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Empty. Come on. Nothing. This is so lame. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb.
take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking cool! Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department! Uh, so what should we do? Open, she can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. This pretty much sums up Kate, shy and sweet, and in the wrong place. Only two more files to go. I certainly can't use this. It looks like an oil paintings bill. Awful. Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant.
You're not so tacky up close. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus? And my step-troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa. Listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <laughs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you going to make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are super, Max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich, and nobody busted us. So? Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Go otters. I 
actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. I hope the otters will survive. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat picks. Boys or girls? Girls, of course. Girls? Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Where does that other sock go? If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? The wit, it burns. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Where does that other sock go? This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Sorry, Rachel. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. In case I run out of air, I know where to come.
Yes, we get it. Otters. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Now I have the power over light and death. So, the big plan is... win. Aww, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Combo. Time to do or dive, Max. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. I guess I should consider this evolution. Boys locker room is right. Those are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your. No. Jefferson said don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. Ah! I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And 
we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide! Hide. Move, Max! Don't waste your power on getting busted! my power or just look for a hiding spot or both where are they hello hey Where are they? Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. We are so invisible. Let's bail. Bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car!
Always remember this moment. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I'm so wiped out from last night. But it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. Okay, I need to get dressed now. I don't think I'll be washing today. Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase, among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. 
Maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. But it is one way. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra? Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. Now for the mother's milk. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Who drinks beer this early around here? Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. D 
The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. This might be the one time these people are right. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? What? <laughs> no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. I just wish you could have stopped Chloe from getting busted by David for that joint. I know, but it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. And William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and, and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. This was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. 
Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, Mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Nope. Nothing to see here. Naturally, David would buy a- I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Such wrong. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Nothing in it. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Hmm. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. <sighs> Try again. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. I could try the license number for the password. Oh, shit balls. No way. I have to stop. I still need to find the password to David's computer. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Magic 8-Ball says no. No, I can't stop. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. I still need to find the password to David's computer.
Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David, paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once. Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole! Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face! Holy shit, what do you want now? 
I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Are you fucking stupid? Get out of my space. Damn, I really pissed him off. Holy sh... Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Holy sh... I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Holy sh... Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. What the fuck? You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. <coughs> I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Key, my work here is done here, Frank. Thinking, Max. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat boy. The meat is in the street. Oh no! Please, please do not let that poor dog be hit. I bet he's fine. I'm sure he is. Come on, we definitely don't have time to waste now. Oh please, please don't let that dog be hurt. 
or worse. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just... Daydreaming. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. Must take him days to download porn. Yuck. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. How can somebody live like this? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Is Frank going to deal online now? I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You- I could pry this vent open with the right tool. It's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. No more secrets. Ooh, Frank's stash. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. 
Of course Frank gets the munchies. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. Max, you didn't tell me you took photos of Frank in action. I'm seriously ignoring you. Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. I think the doggy likes his bone more. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Curses, nothing here. Oh shit, the knife is broken. Oh shit, the knife is broken. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Curses, nothing here. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. So now it's Rachel's fault too? Jesus, she was banging that pig, Frank! Bitch lied to my face, Max! I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you. Chloe Price, you better take that back. Right now. Okay, fine. But you just don't understand. It's like I'm being punished by the universe. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? 
You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Oh my god, what is happening now? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first! You know the rules, Dad! Max, tell him! Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. No. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crimes. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. Breakfast. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many? Eggs? I love William like he was in my own family. That's true. I so won't let him die today. Dare question I chef. won't. Right. Chloe is just like so damn happy and carefree. I am and this is the last the time unless I change it. I'll let her know that. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. I know I've seen those pictures before. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. What a mess we made. Hello. I remember those cool drawings hey, I did with Chloe. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? That's a cool snow dough. Of course I'll come pick you up. 
Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Oh yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. Of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. I'll let her know that. Score! Sorry, wrong number. Max, come on, you know better than that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Whoa, it's all blurry here. Like I can't step out of the photographic bounds. an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. I know they never took that big vacation. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. Mom said it. Mom said it depends. That's true. So how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here. I am. When your mom is away, I'll let her know that. Boom! Disconnected. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. I, I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. <laughs> you are ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your Obvious, but it will have to do.
shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! I knew this thing would come in handy. That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. So, how many eggs? Crap! I need to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Max, this is not the best time for a prank. Keys, please. Uh, I was just... Um, are you sure Joyce is ready? Uh, let's just, let's just wait. I, um, uh, sorry. Here. I'll get you back someday. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake. We'll for that someday. Remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys! Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and joys and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome.
You were such a whole bag. I knew you'd hook up with that music. I'm not paying $150 for a concert. I heard that the Vortex Club parties are wild. Dude, the service fee is like 50%. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Really wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so hard. I know, sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. <laughs> 